Welcome to JB Lessons. I'm JB and in today's lesson I'm going to be showing you how to play Back in Black by ACDC on the ukulele. Okay, a few things I need you to do before we start the video. Open the description box, click the link and download the resources. If you don't know how to read tab, I need you to just have a quick look at this video that I've made. It will explain how to read the music. And the last thing is, if you're enjoying this content, please do click the subscribe button, click the bell so that you get notified when new videos are uploaded. For this song, we've got a bit of a mix of chords and melody lines. So I'm gonna give you some chord diagrams and some tablature. But there's only three chords to it. The first chord is A major. If you don't know A major, it looks like this. And you play it like this. Use finger two on fret two on the G string, which is the string closest to the ceiling. Use finger one on fret one on the string directly underneath that one, the C string. And we should have a shape that looks like that and strum all four strings. That's your A major chord. Chord number two is G major. Now, if you play the guitar, you would know this as a D major chord, but because the uke's tuned slightly different, this is in G. Uh, what you need to do is starting from the string closest to the floor, which is your A string, finger two, fret two, finger three, fret three on the next string up, and then finger one on fret two on the next string higher than that. And we should have this little triangle shape that looks like that. Again, all four strings for this one. G major. And your third chord for this song is D major. This one's, if you've got a soprano uke or a pineapple uke, it's a little bit tricky because everything's quite tight in the fretboard. But starting from the top string, the G string again, I need to put finger one in fret two, finger two in the same fret but on the next string underneath, and finger three in the same fret, but on the next string underneath. So your fingers should be as much in a line as you can like this. It's quite a tricky one if you've got a small uke. Again, all four strings, D major. The song goes like this, you play the A chord once, the G chord three times, and the D chord three times. And then we've got our melody line. Then we'll go back to the chords, A, G three times, D three times. Now when I'm playing, I'm using my fingers as if I'm holding a pick because I find that gives me a little bit more of a percussive sound. Because if you want to play a bit like the way Angus Young plays the guitar, there's lots of mutes. So with this hand, you don't actually press down on the strings, you mute it over the strings, just very lightly press. So you can get that chop sound. So I would have this and do a chop straight afterwards. A chop after the G. And a chop after the D. It makes it sound a bit more like the rhythmic guitar parts. The melody section of the song goes like this. I want you to put finger two on fret three on the A string. And you're gonna play a single note. Then we're gonna do what's called a pull off. When that note's still ringing out, I need you keep the pressure on this finger and then just flip. So it's almost like you're playing an open string, but with that finger. So we play the three and then pull off so you get two notes out of it. Do exactly the same on the next string. And then on the next string, we want to do fret two. But before you do the pull off, we're gonna do a bend and release back to where it was originally. So keep the pressure on 
play fret two, pull it down, but do not let go, then let it return back to its original position. So you get this. A little blues bend. Then do the pull off at the end of that. I'll show you that one more time. So you've got bend and then pull off. So you've got three, pull off, three, pull off, two with a bend, pull off. Melody section two goes like this. You're going to be playing on the C and E strings and we're going to play an open E string each time. Fret one on the C string. Back to open E string. Fret two on the C. Open E string again. Fret three. Open again. Fret four. So you're just working up. One, two, three, four, but with an open string in between each time. I would play all of this with finger one. That way, when you get to the top, you can slide all the way back down and straight into the A chord to start it all again. So here's a slowed down talk through for you. We've got A, chop, G three times. Chop. D three times. Chop. Melody line. Finger two on fret three. Three. Pull off. Three. Pull off. Two with a bend. Pull off. Back to A. Chop. G three times. Chop. D three times. Chop. Open. One. Open. Two. Open. Three. Open. Four with a slide. Back to the beginning. Thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you've enjoyed it, remember please do subscribe, share it with your friends, I'm trying to build the channel as much as possible, and whilst you're here, check out some of the other videos. Thanks. Yeah.